everyone, welcome to another Technique Tuesday. I'm A-Hole Joanna Bronson and I'm so excited to share with you some thoughts I have on casting. So here it is. They don't know what they want. It's simple. Most casting will have an idea, a, a feel that they get from the directors, a feel that they get from production that says, this is what we're looking for, this is what we kind of want. And casting directors, their job is to do the best of their ability to fulfill those obligations, those roles. And, you know, one of my favorite stories is about Rami Malek. You can check it up on YouTube. Um, the guy, the main, the lead in Mr. Robot, he's one of my favorite actors and he does such a great job. And he talks about, you know, um, his nervousness and his neuroses and the things that he deals with on a daily basis that he was able to bring into his audition because that was just who he is. And it turned out to be exactly what casting wanted, but they didn't know that until they saw him. And how... There is no way of knowing these things, guys. There's no way of knowing what casting wants. And you going into that room thinking that you're giving what the casting director wants is not doing anyone a good, a good service. You're doing a disservice to yourself and your craft. If you see a script and you see something that you're like, oh, this could work for that, and maybe that, but maybe they're looking for this. Look, I get it. Some things are structural, two cam comedies, they have beats and things you gotta hit. I totally get it. You're not gonna turn a comedy into a drama. It's not what we're looking for. What I'm talking about is turning in your, yourself into a character that you think everyone else is going to be doing. You see other actors working in the casting office and they're working on their things and you're like, oh, that's kind of good. Or you can hear it. I know a lot of times in casting offices you can hear what people are doing in the room and you start thinking, oh, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe that's what they're looking for. Maybe that's what they want. Or you're in a room of other actors that don't look like you. I've gone on casting casting calls for plus 45 and I know come on guys I know I don't look that old but I also have to take that judgment out of it it's not my job to cast the project I was brought into that room for a reason and so were you don't think about what the project says it says you know six foot tall um, dark haired so-and-so Latino woman and the thing is, is like, I'm not that tall. I am definitely not as thin as sometimes they call for, which is terrible that they even put that on casting calls. But you know, people want what they want. And our industry is changing, thank goodness. But slowly but surely, we're gonna get there. Anyway, sorry, tangent. Um, but I'm telling you guys, don't go into the room giving them what you think they want. Do your version, do your character work, do whatever it is that you want to experience as that character and give them that experience because I'm telling you, they're going to remember you, they can see through the bullshit, and if you make it a performance that maybe wasn't right for this role, they might have in mind something else. So do your job, enjoy it, don't think you know everything because that's not your job. Your job is to be an actor, right? So go into the room and do your job. I'm so excited for you guys. Please let me know what's going on this week, what's some experiences that you're having in the casting rooms. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get to you as soon as I can. Here at A-Hole Productions, we're just trying to give you some free content and information to help you on your journey. So if you liked it, all that we ask is you share and tag us. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.